what's up it's your girl delilah ferrari back with another video this is a story time video on how i met 50 cent and how much of a douchebag he is <laughs> so stay tuned and i'll get right into details on this if you're filling these bundles i got in this is by true hair company i'd advise you guys to go get you some hair i bought this hair myself yes i always buy hair from them i love their hair they do have a um, sell every first Friday of the month. And guess what? It's $60. Everything is $60. This frontal, which is amazing. This hair, 30 inches, 28. Whatever you want, $60. And I'm trying to put you guys on, okay? So let's get to this story, honey. So the day I met 50 Cent, he came to my job. I work at a restaurant. And... He walks in with a tall girl. She's light skin tall. She had natural hair. She had no makeup on. First of all, he was riding in a shimmery Rolls Royce. I didn't see the car until I went outside. Like, because me and my coworkers was fiending. Like, let's go see what car he drove or whatever. We bored. We go look at his car. It was beautiful. All shimmery. It was like a midnight blue with green. Like, who don't want to live a day with 50 Cent? I do. 50 Cent. Oh my God, 50 Cent. Like, you name a song and I know all the words. Mini Man, 21 Questions. I know all the words to these songs. Like, he comes into my job. He didn't want to wait. So he took a pager and he went to go sit at the bar. He didn't want to wait because everybody was in his face. Like, you're 50 Cent. What the fuck do you expect? And you got no bodyguard with you? Like, what do you expect? So he goes sits at the bar. I'm like, I got to see him. Because I met a lot of celebrities. But I hate seeing a celebrity and I only got a glance of them like i have to go and see how you really look so i kept walking he said at the end of the bar like the very end so it's just him so i walk by and i'm like <laughs> i'm looking like a little creep every two seconds i'm walking by like just look the last thing i want to do is look like a creep but i was trying to get a good look and just remember it because this is 50 cent like i grew up listening to 50 cent like i'm a 90s babe i don't adore him and i don't praise him or nothing but i like 50 cent i like his music you know like this video if you like 50 cents music so i know i'm not the only one out there his music speaks some truth honey so he comes to my job and um sits at the bar and i'm over here looking like a creep i'm like i'm not gonna do that no more let me go back to my section and the one time i don't bartend a celebrity comes sits at the bar so i think this is the first time 50 cent came there and he pretty much kept looking at me and i'm like oh my god i think i'm gonna say something like the next time i walk by because i have to walk that way anyways to get like a guest drink or whatever i have to go to the bar to get the drinks i'm like i'm gonna say something watch i know me i know i'm gonna say something so i walked over there and he was like hi <laughs> I was so fucking sprung. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I was like, hi. And, and then just kept on walking. <laughs> and then I was like, why the fuck did I do that? He probably wanted to ask me for my number. Like, you never know. <laughs> and I just was like, hi. And kept on walking. Like, that's the kind of hi I gave him was like, hi, how you feeling? And I kept on walking. And I didn't mean to, but that's what happened. So he tells one of my friends, it's a guy. While he was at the bar, my friend walked by with a tray and he go yo when you finish with that come over here and my my friend came and told me this he asked my friend yo if you sleeping with a girl and you take her out to eat you with her pretty much every day but that's not y'all never made nothing official what is that girl to you is that your girlfriend or just a girl you sleeping with and my friend said that's just a bitch i'm sleeping with <laughs> and 50 cent was like my man's in front of the, his date like that's mad fucking rude one so my friend comes like, yo, guess what just guess what just happened? Like, 50 Cent just asked me a question. Yo, I couldn't believe it. Yo, he mad regular. He mad chill. Now all of a sudden they best friends. And I'm just like, yo, relax. He just asked me one question or whatever. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. He, I could tell his vibe. He chill, whatever. I'm like, I mean, whatever. So he told me the story and I'm just laughing. Like, I can't believe you. You're a typical fuckboy. Like, that's mad fuckboy. Why would you say? You should have been like, that's my wife. Like, if you're sleeping with her, you wake up next to her, you take her out, you bring her to the family. That's your wife. Like, stop playing. <laughs> so we're going back and forth, whatever. But forget about him. I text my, one of my friend up. I text her, like, yo, she does music. And I'm like, yo, guess who's here? She, like, she knows celebrities always come to the job. But I'm like, guess who's here? 
50 cent is here right now you want me to say something to him or like she was like no you ain't gotta say nothing i'm on my way and then she was on her way or whatever an hour ago by she never came and i'm like yo what you what are you doing are you still coming he's still here she goes oh no can you um go to him and say like give him my instagram or something and I'm like, oh my God, like my shy ass, I know I can't do it. Like that's a challenge right there. I mean, I'm up for whatever challenge life brings me, but that right there, I don't know. Like he already seemed kind of rude a little bit because when he walked in, he didn't want nobody taking pictures of him. And um, he just gave me a little rude vibe. So I was like, you need to come here and do that. She started blacking on me like, oh my God, you're not even a real friend. Wow, Delilah, wow. You're not a real friend. If you can't do that for me, that's fucked up. If you believe in me, go do that for me. I'm like, you know what, you right. I do believe in you and maybe I should go do it. So I was procrastinating like, oh my God, what am I going to say? How am I going to do this? And I didn't know how to do it, so I didn't do it. And then I texted her, like, I didn't do it, so she got mad at me a little bit. I was like, yo, just come. Like, he ain't leave yet. Just come. She got mad at me. She wasn't even responding, whatever. I was like, whatever. So, um, pretty much when it was time for him to leave, he got up and people were like, can we take a picture with you? Can we take a picture with you? I was standing like at the front and I was just watching and I'm like, yo, he about to leave. Okay. All right. Let me call my friend up. So I call her up. She didn't answer the first time because she's mad or whatever. Call her a second time. She didn't answer. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go outside and I'm trying to call her because I didn't want to get in trouble for being on the phone. My managers was already like, if anybody take a picture with him, you guys are getting fired. So anyone take a picture, if y'all do anything stupid, y'all getting fired. So nobody really want to lose their job over 50 cent. Like, it ain't worth it. So I go outside and I'm calling her like, yo, oh my God, pick up. So I text her like, yo, what you want me to say to him? He's coming out right now. Like, let me, I'm going to say something. And then she, she didn't answer. And my other friend came outside, too. And he walks out. And my friend was like, hi, can I take a picture with you? And then he was like, nah. And she was like, what? I can't take a picture with you? He was like, nah. And she was like, fuck out of here. Like, why I can't I take a picture with you? And he was just like, no. And I was like, wow. You see, if I would have went to this man and he would have treated me like that, I would have been so upset. And I was just like, I'm so happy that I didn't do that because I would have made a fool out of myself. But no shade, no tea, none of that stuff. It's just, it is what it is. Like, 50 Cent came to my job at the end of the day. I seen him in real person. It felt good. It made my day. It made the freaking hours go by faster. It made me coming to work that day <sighs> worth it because I hate going to work sometimes. I just want to be home and make money from home, be my own boss or whatever. So... I was happy at the end of the day. Yeah, like I said before, I am a 50 Cent fan. Like, I love 50 Cent. His music, I'm a 90s baby, so growing up, I always listened to his music, and I was like, and I thought I was him in those videos. I don't know, I was really sprung when I saw him, so yeah, felt good. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Go subscribe to my channels for future videos. I got some pranks coming in. Like, don't worry, I got y'all. Go watch my other videos. Videos on how I make my wigs and videos on me and my sister. We did a challenge. It's pretty funny. Go check that out. <laughs> it, every time I watch it, I laugh. So I'm sure you guys going to laugh. Um, Yeah, just stay tuned because I have a lot more on the way. And thank you guys for watching this. Love you.